Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today is a special one. This is the first round of the NNKC Karting Championship for 2024. Um, this is going to be my first full season, so I'm still very new to this. Um, it's not my first time in a kart. I did a couple races in a Pro 4, which is basically just a souped up 206 motor. This is my first time in the senior class, so it's just a basic 206 engine with a bunch of other racers. Needless to say, I'm still very new at this, so the first race didn't go exactly to plan. There was a lot of cart issues and a lot of meat issues, um, mostly around the brakes and just getting used to the new cart that hadn't been raced in a while. So it was definitely a challenge, but we pushed through the whole day, we managed to finish every race, and it was a good learning experience to say the least. I would have recorded what I'm saying right now out on the track, but we were so busy building and fixing the cart all day, just in between all the races, that I didn't really have a chance to. But that's definitely something I'll keep in mind for next race, which is in about a week from the recording of this, that I can hopefully do some more interview type stuff at the actual track. I hate asking for this, but this video did take a lot of work and effort, and there's going to be many more just like this one to come. So if you guys want to see those, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and it shows that you guys like this kind of content. This weekend was a lot of fun, so I'm going to stop yapping and get right into it, and I'll show you guys how it went. So the first practice for our class went um, subpar to say the least. On my outlap something felt wrong with the cart but I couldn't quite pinpoint what it actually was. And then as I started to build up more speed I realized that I had virtually no brakes. Keep in mind the first corner of this track is basically a hairpin, so having no brakes going into that was um, frightening to say the least. So obviously with no brakes I did miss the first practice and I brought it back into the pit so we could get it fixed. Luckily we were able to before qualifying started. But yeah, having no brakes in the first session of the day is definitely a little too sketchy for my taste. No brakes? No brakes at all. Okay. Let's wait real quick and then we'll get over it. Okay. Qualifying went subpar. Um, I qualified last overall out of everybody. Um, I did finish this time and I did have brakes, which was a good thing. Um, the cart just felt really uncontrollable and unpredictable. Especially after the scare with the brakes, it was kind of hard trusting them into the corners. After qualifying we did some tweaking, we adjusted the tire pressures and we made the decision to add struts from the back seat to the axle mounts that would help with stability in the rear end, which felt super shaky and just, just not good, we'll just say that. Before this weekend I only had maybe 20 full laps of practice in this cart. We were having a lot of issues with the sprocket and that was causing us to miss out on a lot of practice that we could have gotten. Going into the first heat, obviously I qualified in last so I was starting in the back of the pack. Our class is one of the biggest classes out there, so there was plenty of carnage and crashing and honestly good racing to go around.
I don't remember exactly where I ended up placing after the first heat, but I think I made up maybe two positions. The second heat was an eventful one. Um, into the first corner, I ended up passing, I think it was four people. We were going into turn one and two, four breasts, and I just stuck on the inside and held my ground, and I managed to make it past like five people. There was also some crashes in this one that were uh, not ideal to say the least. Up front, we can throw a blanket over the top floor. Check this out. And I ended up getting passed by a couple of people that I passed into that first corner, which I want to blame on the cart, but it was also my fault just because I was still getting used to the cart and I just wasn't fully up to speed yet. But that's something that we'll work on as we go throughout the season, and hopefully we can get a podium finish or better in some of the later races. The main event went pretty okay, um, no car issues or anything like that. I think I started in maybe 13th or something like that. This weekend had a lot of up and downs. I still have a lot to learn going into my first season, but the hope is I can keep getting faster and the car can keep getting more reliable as we build it up and get it suited to my driving style. It was a very fun weekend. I'm super excited for the next one and to keep improving this season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took a lot of work and effort to put together, um, 
As I mentioned earlier, it would really help me if you left a like and subscribed. Make sure to leave a comment as well. I love reading through those. All you guys are super supportive and I really appreciate every comment that gets left. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.